Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, I'm finally reviewing the Lamp Planet Spirit Bomb Throwing Goku Lamp. Not quite an action figure, but if you saw my unboxing video, you know why I got this. I thought a lot of you would be interested in something like this, so I asked them to send me a review sample. They did, so here it is. So essentially, it's a lamp but it's actually Goku with a spirit bomb above his head, so that's pretty cool. Now, there are some unique things about this and some things we need to discuss, so it's going to be kind of an in-depth review considering it's just a lamp, but I think you guys will be uh, appreciative of it because some of you are probably going to want to pick this up. So the first thing I have to mention is that Goku and these little guys down here, these little cloud effects, are removable. So I'm going to set them aside for now. And you might have noticed as I was moving him that the base is actually magnetic. It's a big piece of metal. Probably, I don't know, probably some cheap stamp steel, but it's fine. It works just fine. It's nice and powder coated black, so that looks good. It has this Lamp Planet logo on it, which is fine. Not necessarily something you want. You don't really need to advertise the brand on your collectible figure lamp, but it's okay. It's not terrible. And like I said, it's a big round base. Then we have this chrome upright piece that holds the actual lamp. So that's pretty well done. I like that it's a nice solid piece of metal. Maybe black would have been better so that it hid, got hidden a little bit more, but it's not it's not a big deal. We do have this articulation at the top, but believe it or not, that allows you to move the spirit bomb, though it's not really necessary because if you'll notice, the spirit bomb isn't exactly centered over the base anyway. It's a little bit far forward, so lifting it up while centering it more would, it puts it a little bit too high, I think. So you probably don't want to do that. And then we have this piece, which is just a class, classic plastic dome. It's a milky white dome which looks opaque without the light being on inside of it but it just kind of snaps on over the bulb and you do get two bulbs. You get, well they're actually LED light fixture lamp things but you get one and then you get a spare one so that's pretty cool. So how this works is you have a cord just like a regular lamp but you have a little switch connected to it so that's pretty nifty and when you do the switch it'll turn it on. Big surprise I know but the first time you turn it on it'll be white turn it off and turn it back on again quickly and it'll be blue so you can have a white or a blue spirit bomb. If you press it a third time you can also make it kind of like a half white half blue. So you have some options and I think that's pretty cool. Now let's talk about the Goku figure. The base of the lamp measures just about eight inches across, a little bit shy of that. Goku himself stands just about six inches to the top of his hands and the lamp itself is just about 15, maybe 16 inches, give or take, depending on how you have this position since it has the articulation. So it's not a small lamp. As you can see, this is a 12 inch ruler right here. It only goes up to the middle of the uh, spirit bomb. So there's definitely some size to it. So that's kind of nice. So this Goku, it was brought to my attention that it looks eerily similar to the figure arts zero Goku. So I did a little bit of researching and it is the identical mold. It is the exact same thing, and I could tell because this one hand right here comes down too far. It's like he's hyperextending his fingers. And it's the exact same thing on the figure arts zero thing, so I thought, well, what the heck? Are these licensed or not? I thought they were, but it turns out they're not. So if you're the type of person who does not want to buy something that is not licensed, well, then this is not for you. I have to be honest, and that is a thing. Now, does it technically fall under copyright issues? I don't know, it's a little bit transformative in that it's not, a, it's not a figure that you're buying to be a figure, it's just part of a lamp. Now, since it is a static figure in the first place, that does leave some room for debate, so that's gonna be up to you. In terms of quality of this guy, if you don't look too close, it looks pretty good. We do have shading throughout, but if you do look close, it's not the cleanest paint job in the world. It definitely could be better. In fact, you might be better off with the Figure Art Zero version. I don't own one, but I'm betting it's painted a lot cleaner than this. So that is something to consider. The other thing to consider is that the boots have magnets on the bottom so that he stands on the base, but they didn't recess the magnets in the feet at all. They just stuck them on the bottom. So I feel like that could have been handled way better. Having the magnets recessed in the feet would have looked way, 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 way nicer. Then we also have these cloud effect parts, which do have the magnets recessed a little bit, and they're okay. I feel like they're kind of a dark yellow, darker brownish yellow color, and they could have been nicer, but they look good enough. So once you put them all together, it's not a bad look. So ultimately, do I think the light is worth getting the lamp? Is it any good? Is it cool to have? And when you have it just standing there, it might look a little lackluster. It's not the most impressive looking thing in the world. However, once you turn it on, it looks pretty freaking cool. 
So I have to say I really do like it. I'm not sure about the price point given that it does have a, uh, a basically a knockoff figure for the for the main part of it. I mean, yeah, the spirit bomb's important, but without Goku, it doesn't do any good. So I would have much rather had an original sculpt, a little bit higher quality thing, uh, paint job wise, sculpt wise, that kind of thing. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. I think it could be better given the price point. But that said, it does look freaking cool. So. Uh, I can't discourage you completely, you're just going to have to make up your mind given all of that information. So that's going to be up to you. So there it is, I kind of like it. I mean, I definitely like it, but I'm not sure if it's worth the price point. I'm not sure how I feel about the whole fact that it's a uh, basically a knockoff, a knockoff figure or it's zero figure. So you can decide for yourself. I'm not sure how I feel. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about all kinds of things, as you can see, even lamps sometimes. And then, I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter or Facebook, but if you don't, you should. But I got offered a refrigerator to review the other day. I declined. But, uh, you know, if it was a nice, like, an LG or something like that, I probably would have said yes. But, uh, yeah, we do all kinds of things here. That's what I'm saying. Lots of things. Lamps, action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, technology things, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.